Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hamna and I am an art healer and I share content connected to art, healing and spirituality. Three of the things I'm extremely passionate about and whatever it is that I share is either connected to an accumulation of knowledge I have gained from watching different YouTube videos, reading different books or through my own personal journey of um, awakening my soul in connecting to my own authentic self i'm not gonna lie it has been an incredible journey and one of the things that a soul goes through when it awakens is ego death and what i mean to say through that is that everything and anything that you identified yourself with has to leave has to empty your vessel so that you are able to connect to your soul's authentic inner core voice and that can happen through lots and lots of things and um, i will share the different ways um, a soul awakens but as for now today i wanted to first explain what i understand of ego and why it's important or what a beautiful thing it is when the ego dies and what happens when ego death happens um so when you think of this um th this is something i got from google it's right in the corner of the page it says someone's ego is their sense of own worth of their own worth for example if someone has a large ego they think they are very important and valuable he had a massive ego never would he admit he was wrong now that's just a sentence so don't take it like as a he or a she this is just to say that they have a certain understanding of who they are and they try to just keep um forcing themselves to be that and so they stop their own growth now how does this work i'm going to try and see if i can visually draw it for you so this is a person who has a big ego um and this person went to a very fancy college or doesn't even have to be fancy college went through um education so this person has education and they define themselves as, for example, they were an A plus student. Then they are coming from a certain family background, which is, you know, um, comfortable or um, they are rich by birth. Then they can have, this is just an example. So you can, re you can put in whatever it is that you have. So these are just things that are external. Education is received from the fam, uh, from the outside world right family is given to you it's not something that you choose um then you have lots of travel so you have a lot of experiences so you again this is an outside so in the same way you keep like i wear the color blue and i look fabulously amazing um, my favorite food is chinese these are all things that one defines themselves with and you keep continuing doing this i am an artist or i like um sitting under the stars or it could be um i only speak to people who are from my background so you know you like comfort so you don't grow much because you choose to just stay within your comfort zone you are happy with a nine to five job and whatever money you get from this job is you know defines you your your value is based on what you earn and how you look and what you like and what you define yourself as and whatever it is that you know um you wear on the skin and all of these if you notice are all outside um experiences or they're outside of you that you are taking in so when you were growing up from childhood to you know adulthood or whatever it is like life goes on 16 um 20 40s in your 50s and so on you keep adding on these things 
and you keep defining yourself by your family by your education i went to so and so school i got so and so grades my family background is this this is what my family has been doing for centuries and so that's what i'm going to be doing um i've always worn blue and blue is the color my skin looks the best um i've always eaten chinese because chinese makes me feel like um I don't know what Chinese makes you feel, but it makes me sleepy and it's comfort food. So I'm not going to give any other thing a try. I'm just going to stick to Chinese. So these are all outside influences or inspirations that you have taken inside of you. And this all defines you. Now, there comes a point in your life that you get triggered with the awakening if you are lucky. Um, most people are all living in this phase of their life, right? Some people awaken to say, hang on, this is making me so heavy. The education I received is actually blocking me from new growth. Every time I try to take new steps or study something new, this comes in the way because I'm like, oh, I'm, I've done my, you know, engineering degree or I've done my medicine or I've done my chef, whatever, cooking or artist. And it's defining you so much so that you don't take anything on. You just say, oh, I've been a doctor for the past 25 years and I'm going to be that because I am amazing at it. So you don't give yourself the opportunity to grow and that holds you back. So even though this education was great for you, but it doesn't allow you to expand at soul level. So this job or this thing that you define yourself with actually becomes boring. So you don't like it and you say hang on uh just because i was a doctor for 25 years doesn't mean i have to remain a doctor for 25 years because my education doesn't define me or hold me so i'm going to give myself a chance and i'm going to become a gym instructor so you let go of this layer of your ego and you jump to the next now you say oh my family so this is this is when this is what happens when you're you're going through ego death you start questioning everything everything that you have been told and taught and have absorbed in your system as you you question yourself like nothing and let me tell you one thing it is painful ego death is no joke and it's not for the faint heart it's not for people who can't handle the truth because ego death is all about coming into a space and understanding your own truth and truth is not always i mean most times it's never um, easy to accept because most of the things that you realize are things that you know you kind of go oh my god what was i even thinking so anyway you remove yourself from that profession and you become a um gym instructor for example like you completely switch yourself and say you know what i'm going to give myself another chance to do something else and i'm not going to let this define me then you like when you start doing the gym um, job or whatever, uh, studying for it, yoga teacher, right? And you're like helping other people, you're becoming a healer and all that sort of jazz. And your family questions you, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Nobody in my family does has ever done this. Why do you need to do this? So you deal with a lot of uh, generational trauma and you question it. You say, hang on. How is my family defining me and why are they defining me and holding me back from the growth that I need? Um, and how can how can just because I am born to this household, uh, I'm not a slave to them. So you question the values you were taught um, for were they were they respectful towards your soul? And if they weren't, um, you will stand up. You will they the, the society, your family will break you apart they will hurt you in ways that you'd be like what is happening why am i not being understood by these people who i have loved for so far but what's happened is when you start speaking the language of your soul the language of your mind 
really fights back. And so the language of your mind, which is your external world, shatters. You lose friendships, you lose people, you lose all of this identity that you created within you because no more you are concerned about the bank balance. No more you are concerned about the blue color in which you looked good. No more does it really matter to you um, what are the things you have, what are the things, because you are awakening from the inside and all of this egoic uh, things that you had accumulated from the outside start to be in question and it hurts because you're so attached to it this is what you only knew and when you awaken your inside soul is getting up and as it is getting up and it no more can take your crap it will clean you out it will clean you out of people in your life that have been hurting you which you were not able to see and do and take action towards they will remove all toxicity and it is painful, as I keep emphasizing, but it is for your own good. You will feel lonely. You will be isolated because you see this has to happen. You have to go through the death to be able to come into a space where your soul can live. So either your mind will live or your soul. And when you come to a place now, people might be like, uh, excuse me, how is the mind going to die? Your mind doesn't die. It understands that it is more than the mind. It understands that this soul, this white light that you, comes from within you, which is your soul, is equally important. Not like there's a the battle goes away of mind important or world important or family important. But what becomes important is your inside soul. What makes you at peace in here is only and only your connection with your true self, with your soul, with your God, with the universe. And as your soul awakens, all the layers of your ego have to be broken apart. And for that to be broken apart, you will lose uh, friendships, you will lose family, you will lose everything and anything so that you are able to rise again. And this time, you're not going to rise from um, your old um, you know, all things that define you. This time the soul will lead you to whatever it needs you to do. So all of your outside influences will just kind of um, not matter anymore. And all of your inside starts awakening. And your inside leads the path ahead. Your inside becomes your light. Your inside becomes your source. And you are no more in control of the matrix of the outside world. It is not about the family you were born to. It was not about the job that you do. It is never about uh, how much money you have. To, you have to be happy or the education you received. All of these things are outside. They were, they were there for you to gain an understanding of your physical needs. But then once you've received your physical needs, you are called towards your soul's path. And for that, you have to clean all of this so that you are able to rise again. Now, what happens in ego death is most people halfway through, um, you can feel very suicidal, you'll feel very isolated, you will feel very misunderstood, you will be highly distracted, you will have no uh, dreams or desires to do anything at all, you will go through depression, you will have major panic attacks, major anxiety, um, and in all of those, you just have to ride it through. There is no saying, okay, hang on, I'm just going to pause my spiritual awakening for a while. No, that it doesn't happen because it's the outside agenda, like three months I'm going to give myself for a spiritual awakening. It doesn't work like that. The spirit works in a way um, as it's meant to. It's not about your choice. It's not about, and you'd be like, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for change. I'm not ready for the person that I'm uh, being guided to make. I'm not ready. And that is what causes anxiety to be 
to be even further more painful because you're resisting growth, you're resisting change, you're resisting uncertainty, and you're saying, you know, I don't know what will happen. Now the fear kicks in, and a lot of people, you know, go through societal uh, emotions, and I personally have myself many, many times, and I think. um it's very it's very very dark in there because it's very isolated and it's very lonely and what we need to constantly remind ourselves that the path is lonely because the mind the ego keeps telling it that you're losing something you're losing something you're losing all that you have gained um and what we need to understand is that we came here with a soul that knows way beyond what the body knows and wants the soul has a better understanding guidance um programming by god to help us um survive or thrive rather in uncertainty the soul can guide you um towards uncertainty um and you know make you uncomfortable and the ego will be like no you can't do this you come from so and so family background you can't marry this person because you know this person is either older than you or they're poorer than you or you can't love somebody because they're you know whatever whatever their conditioning is and your soul is like no but i love this person or no but i'm going to become a ceramic artist regardless of me not knowing anything about ceramics i am going to do that and the soul just drives you because it's like had enough of your mind playing the game and guiding it towards um towards the world because the soul came here with a purpose and every single soul has a purpose there is nobody on this planet that just exists because you know dot 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 no the soul came here for a purpose and for for you to connect with your soul what you truly need to do is spend time with yourself um and there can be billions of ways of how you can do that of spending time with yourselves you can do art you can do creativity you can go for long walks you can spend time with animals you can do lots and lots of things but while you're going through the ego death i highly recommend spending time with animals with nature with your own self and away 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 from your screen and away 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 from uh, family and all those influences that um remind you of your past mistakes and places and people and try not to socialize while you're going through a spiritual awakening try not to uh, mingle with people who bring you down and make you feel unworthy because what's happening is you are awakening from this inside space and this inside space needs to spread its light outwards and this is your purpose the way you bring out your soul into this world helps to raise the vibration of the planet so many people are living in their ego mind working 9 to 5 jobs living like robot numbing their emotions escaping from what they're feeling not owning to their truth and we're killing the planet we're killing the planet from our on hands because we are killing our own selves day by day we are treating ourselves as uh slaves slaves to the society this person did said this or this person did this so i want to be like this we we we're, we're producing clones like we're producing copy 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 copied images of each other and there is no originality left and there is this fashion craziness there is this consumerism craziness and it's all about wanting 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 i want to be this i want to do this i want to become this and the soul is just here to spread its light so that the world can experience peace and for that we have to awaken from the inside we have to awaken our soul from this part we have to awaken um in here we have to awaken our um not getting the right marker pen okay all of this and um, we have to awaken from here 
And so when we awaken and clean ourselves from the inside and purify ourselves with the light of God, with the oneness of the universe, um, connect ourselves to you know higher realms, channel into our intuition, we are able to bring and spread light in just being who we are. The way you spread light is when you are yourself. And to be yourself, you have to live a life connected to your soul's energy, soul's purpose. We all have something in us that will help us spread out light. And what we're doing is most times most people are just holding their light inside and not releasing and constantly taking and taking and taking and taking and wanting needing desiring this 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 and we're constantly blocking our own selves so to break this light free we have to work from the inside we have to let go of all that we've accumulated, let go of all that defines you, your family values, ask yourself, the family values that you were given, are they yours or are they something that have been placed on your shoulders for you to believe in and keep moving forward? Because, you know, things that were taught to you were at a certain time and maybe maybe you're you're the one who's going to break the chains and you're resisting them to bring more change more light into this world and you're constantly resisting it because you are following the path of your ancestors and they did what they needed to do but you have to do what you have to do here and for that you have to rise you have to rise from the inside and clear the path because you came here to be light in a vessel in a beautiful vessel that you are so ego death is something that a very lucky soul goes through and when you do go through it it might be a place where you never ever ever thought you would end up being um, but when you go through the ego death you will find new people oops sorry bad pen um, you will find new people you will find um change constant you will need you will need to uh, cultivate self love you will need to connect to the creator you will need to understand that there is more to you than just the body it is body mind and soul you will need to spend time with yourself you will have to forgive yourself you will have to accept yourself you will have to love yourself forgive accept love it is so important guys that the reason you go through a spiritual awakening is because you needed to forgive yourself you need to accept that the that you are a creation of the creator and you are absolutely lovable you were created to love and receive love in every form and uh, way possible and the highest ca- kind of love um and that's why you are going through the spiritual awakening so that you are able to become this and when you are love when you own your love when you allow new love to come in when you define yourself as nothing but the creation of god of creation of the you know of whoever you resonate with you forgive the path that you have been walking on you start valuing your life and you start being of purpose to god so ego death is what leads you towards your purpose and your purpose is only and only to serve god in whatever way it has chosen for you to do and spread light uh, into this world um and that's just that's just my understanding of what ego death is i really really hope it helps somebody out there if it does leave me a comment connect with me um i do offer one-to-one sessions you can message me through all the links given below um and if you enjoyed the video in any way do let me 
know because um, I've just started doing this recently and I'm loving it. I love um, I love being able to share what I've learned and gone through in my own personal journey. And one thing I highly recommend if you are awakening as a soul, when you feel lonely, understand that the only reason you feel lonely is because you have felt the need of needing other people but when you understand that god the creator your soul has always been with you and in you you automatically turn inwards and the loneliness um becomes a gift it almost becomes a um a space where you learn how to feel safe in yourself and that helps to um that truly helps to connect to your soul so i really hope this helps um i'm sending you lots of love light and peace everyone enjoy yourselves and i will definitely see you in my next video take good care of yourselves and bye for now